We will now look at the mapping that needs to be executed in order to calculate the popularity and risk for stocks on a daily basis. What we have here are two maplets that provide the ability to uh, process Twitter data and the ability to process market data. In addition, we also have a mapping that allows for us to read from a logical data object uh, and the logical data object parses web logs and provides relational output, which is then used subsequently in the mapping logic. This is a good example of Informatica's powerful capability uh, to provide the richest set of transformations on Hadoop that includes parsers, standard and complex ETL, natural language processing and extraction, data quality, and matching transforms and rules. In this case, the Maplet allows for us to connect to social media and uh, bring down Twitter data and parse it using natural language processing and use that information to determine the popularity of stock. The weblog logical data object allows for parsing weblogs where if customers have referenced particular stock uh, stocks in the company's website, then we would capture that information in a weblog, parse it, take it out and then again use that to determine the popularity of stock and then the market data is used to calculate the risk associated with stocks where again we, we parse and populate the Bloomberg's data and uh, calculate the risk and finally we combine all of this data and normalize using a function to calculate the average risk and popularity for the various stock picks. Let's look at some of the details here. This is the maplet that does processing of the Twitter data. Let's open that up. It reads the Twitter feeds from Twitter and then it counts the tweets per stock ticker, filters any unwanted stocks that we don't want to look at and then finally outputs that data in the maplet which is in turn used in this mapping here. And then we have the web log which we had covered earlier where we parse the web log data and produce a relational output. In this case, the relational ports include the visitor ID, stock symbol, start date, IP address and login action. So when we run the data viewer, we'll be able to look at the data for the visitor, the unique visitor ID, the stock symbol, uh, the start date and the IP address from which they used it and the login action. Okay, and then we have to uh, count the stocks per unique web visitor which we do in this function uh, in this uh, transformation so we group by the visitor ID stock symbol and then uh, we calculate that information and then finally we filter visits without any stock activity uh, count the web visits per stock ticker and then finally combine both the Twitter data and the web log data in this case it's a simple join based on the stock symbol and what we then get are each stock symbol the number of Twitter accounts number of pe times tw people have tweeted about the stock symbol today the number of times uh, there has been a web log for the related stock symbol as well. So in this case, Apple was tweeted about 227 times on Twitter and it was looked up by customers in the company's website 36 times. Okay, now that we have some sort of an indication of the popularity of the stock, let's go ahead and uh, look at how we calculate the risk associated with each stock. The risk associated with each stock is a function of uh, the number of uh, you know transactions that have happened on a particular stock the high value the low value for the stock so let's open up the maplet associated with the market data
now that we have opened up the maplet associated with the market data, uh, we read the market data. In this case, we read it from a, a file since we have brought the data over uh, into the um, Hadoop file system. And then we filter the invalid records. And then we apply the magic risk calculation for each stock based on the high value and the low value and the volatility involved in the stock. And then we finally use this data to combine that with the popularity for the stocks and come up with a joint risk and popularity profile for each stock on a daily basis. So let's go back to the mapping. This is our mapping where first the uh, data from Twitter and the data from weblog is joined and then subsequently the risk data is also joined with the popularity data and finally we normalize the data. So let's go ahead and look at the normalized data that's shown as the output here. So the stock symbol is listed here. There is a risk value that's calculated for the stock and then there is a adjusted uh, value that's cal calculated for popularity. Um, apparently Apple has the highest popularity in what we're seeing here and the adjusted risk is really low uh, for the given date and this data is captured on a daily basis. Now let's figure out how this daily data is accumulated over a period of time and how it is in turn then used to make stock recommendation for the customer.